Well, today I'm working on a 2005 Ford Excursion with the six liter power stroke engine. Uh, so that is already a mistake. You know that these engines all belong in a scrapyard. But nevertheless, this customer wants the vehicle fixed. So what's going on, uh, the reason it was brought in, well, it had several problems with overheating and other things, but I think those have been fixed and it was brought to me because of electrical problems. So right now, I was told that the alternator doesn't work. It's had three alternators and two FICOMs. The FICOM was recently replaced because of a check engine code that said low FICOM voltage and the truck would not start. So the FICOM was replaced and the truck ran. The truck ran to here, to my house, and uh, the first time I tried to start it, it wouldn't start, it just turns over and over. So I've had the batteries both on a charger and I've uh, just done a very basic amount of electrical diagnostics, trying to figure out what's going on. I scanned it, I have a code for a bunch of glow plug circuits, and then also a code for low FICM voltage. So first thing I did was come out here and check the FICM relay, which goes there, and the FICM fuse, which goes right there. It's a red 10 amp. The relay was working, and um, I think the fuse was, yes, the fuse was good. But when I put a probe or a meter on the fuse, which it's not there, it's red, it's in that empty spot, I was only getting 2.5 volts, which is very odd. So what I did was I jumped 12 volts to it, um, and the truck started up and ran. I don't think the FICM was bad when it was replaced. I think this issue, whatever we have going on, the reason why I only had 2.5 volts is causing that check engine code. Now I could be incorrect on this, but I've got some diagrams that we can look at and I'm gonna try to figure out what's going on. So I've got all kinds of extra parts at my disposal, um, which you, most of you people are definitely not gonna have, but um, I used to own Excursions Unlimited, so my excursion parts sourcing is almost infinite at this point. We've got a new security box, the VSC or whatever it's called, VCS, that has to do with the keys and the PAT system actual computer there. We've got a new fuse box number five and a new BCM. Uh, I don't like just swapping parts. These are so I can test things. And then to confirm my suspicions, if we have an internal issue, then we can actually replace a box. But I'm, I'm willing to bet we have some kind of wiring problem going to these things. Um, so let me go ahead and show you this diagram right here. This is our power distribution that goes to our aux box number five, relay box here. Here you can see the uh, FICM relay. There's that 10 amp fuse that I'm telling you guys about. And this is where it should go to the fuel injection control module or the FICM and it's not. But, well, I, mean, I guess it is, but we have low voltage. So um, this is where it branches off somewhere in this same point right before it goes to uh, to the fuse. So I have this one right here so I can double check wire colors uh, against this. That way I have a better idea of what I'm looking for when I go to actually look under the hood. But anyway, so we're going to try to look through here, test for shorts and things like that. And that is pretty much the path that we're on. So I'm not going to video this entire process because electrical stuff um, is uh, requires some brain power. So I'm just going to be doing some thinking and some wire tracing. All right, well, I've done a little bit of digging, and um, fortunately, it looks like this is an extremely easy issue compared to what we thought it was. So right now, I have the truck in the configuration of when I picked it up, or when it was brought here. Turn the key on, and I have no, no injector noise, so the FICM is not doing what it's supposed to be doing. So we'll go up here. I have my meter uh, negative side hooked up to the negative side of the battery. We're gonna test our 10 amp fuse, and we only have 2.6 volts, which is no bueno. Um, I took this relay out and tested it. It seemed to test good when I um, stuck battery voltage to it and I ohmed out the terminals. So I thought it was okay, but for, uh, traced all my wiring, and all my wiring looked really good. So. Just tried a different relay here and it actually solved the issue. So let me put this one in and you'll see. 
All right, so I stuck the new relay in, had to do it off camera. And when I test voltage with this one on the fuse, now we have battery voltage. And it seemed like the alternator was charging, so let's go ahead and fire it up. Or actually here, I'll cycle the key so you can hear the injectors running with that good relay in there. So key off, key on, hear that? There's the injectors. So let's try and see if the alternator is charging now. So I'm going to let this thing run for a little while and then I'm going to clear the codes and we're going to take it for a drive. <laughs> 